So what are the key numbers that we believe you need to be tracking in your business? Before I introduce you to those numbers, let me explain. You cannot improve anything that you're actually not measuring already. And by the way, the sooner you start measuring these key numbers, automatically the sooner you will start to improve them. It's one of those key things. If you can't track it, you can't measure it, and then you can't manage it. But once you actually start tracking and measuring it, something goes on in the background, and you as an individual or as an organization will automatically be looking at ways to improve it. So what are those numbers? The first one is your gross profit. Now your gross profit is what we call your real income. After paying for the costs and the direct costs of delivering your product or your service, mainly your materials and your labor and the other incidentals around it, what are you actually keeping out of every dollar that you earn? How many cents in that dollar do you actually then keep to run the rest of your organization and ideally make a good healthy profit, net profit at the end? So your real income, your total sales income, that's what we call the vanity number. Your gross profit, what you're keeping is your reality number. So that's the first one. The second number we talk about is your break even. You know, your break even is what is the total number of jobs based on your average or the income you require to just cover costs in your business. Now to work out your break even will vary depending on the type of your business. But essentially your break even, you need two things to understand what that is. You need your overheads or what are the overheads or the operating costs, you know those costs that are hanging over your head every month. And you need to know your gross profit percentage from that. Now once you've got those two numbers, you can easily work out your break even. You take your break even or your overhead number and you divide your gross profit percentage into that and that will give you a pretty close indication. The third number is what we call your magic number. The magic number we talk about at ProTrade is how many inquiries or new leads do you need coming into your business either on a daily, weekly, monthly basis based on the conversion rate from your quotes through to winning the work. Do you need to generate the income and then ideally the profitability for the next 12 months? So a, that magic number is a target that you and your marketing and sales team need to have up on the board to know whether you're on track, off track, or if you're actually winning the game. And the last number is what we call your cash flow, your net cash position. What do you, you know, what is the bin minimum you require in your trading count at any, at any point in time to meet the cost of your organization for the next month or two? And what's the buffer that you have in place? Also knowing what is the expected bank account balance based on your trading cycle, in the next week, the next four weeks, and if you can forecast it out to be the next two to three months in advance. That will depend and vary greatly based on the type of customer you work with and the type of work that you do. So there you have it, the four key numbers, your gross profit, your break even, your magic number from a marketing perspective, and then ultimately your cash flow projections. All the best with tracking those, and if you need a hand, be in touch.